What's up guys? How are you doing today? I have something special for you. This is the Taro GP 400 double R. I've never done a review on this bike. The reason being uh, we've been bringing uh, small quantities for special orders, special finds. Like this one is actually sold. The owner has allowed me to do a quick review and walk around on it. So I'm going to share some of the special features of this bike. This is the Virus Orange Edition. It's a very beautiful bike, as in the orange stands out. And uh, you can see the frame has a sort of a lighter orange than the body, making it uh, stand out. You can really see the frame in there. The rims are the same color as the frame, making it have a really distinctive color. Eh? I love the writing of the virus on the tank, the GP1 and the taro at the bottom. Makes it really, really lovely. You, you can't see really uh, much big difference between the 250R and the 400R in terms of uh, looking at the body shape. Uh, differences usually come in weight and uh, the, how wide the body is. So let's start with the features. Then we can see. First of all, the 400cc been blessed with CST Adreno racing tires. Huh? These are 120, 70, 17 and they are for racing. They are actually fully rubber tires. As you can see it has a dual disc, dual discs 300 millimeter on each side with an a, with ABS. It's a dual channel ABS. It's pretty lovely. It has inverted shocks with Brembo calipers already installed. radiator dual LED lights at the front making it quite beautiful sorry the sorry about the dustbin at the background this was the best place I could take good videos from this bike is a beast it's a beast the guy who owns this bike is quite lucky yeah dual cylinder with like LED LED strips running like this. We'll put them on in a sec so you guys can see. This is an air inlet. Lovely bike. As you can see, it has an it says a six, uh, six uh, an Italian sticker. This shows that it was purely designed in Italy, but the bike was assembled in China. Although it was designed in Italy. Its build quality is quite, quite beautiful. It's quite, quite beautiful. I'm telling you, these guys have done a marvelous job on this bike. Eh? The aluminium steering, it has an aluminium steering with a TFT dash. We're gonna put it on. It even has a hidden uh, diagnostic uh, system that diagnoses the bike in case of any problem. It shows you on the screen, but we're gonna take a look at that. Let's first finish with the walk around. It has a 400cc engine uh, that's liquid cooled, water cooled, uh, twin cylinder, four stroke. It will give you a rated output of about 28 kilowatts at 9000 RPM with a torque of about 35 at 7500 RPM which is pretty good. Top speed is 200 kph on this beast. Yes, you only may test. I almost got there but uh, yeah, it was a previous model 400cc, a client uh, tested it out, I think two months back. He actually got to 195, 197 kph, so it's actually tested. I love the frame, that's the coolant right in there, it uses the green coolant kawaida. I like the frame. As you can see, the, the brake lever is made with a hard metal. Eh? These guys have improved the quality of their bikes, I can tell you improve the quality of their bikes. It has a six-speed wet clutch, multiple wet clutch transmission. This engine is equipped, is equipped to the window, as you can see, to show you the oil level of the window. Let's take a look at the back. It has an aluminium swing arm, pure aluminium. As you can see, this tire is quite wide. This is the CST Adreno tire. 160 70 17 eh? racing eh? let's see if it has the adreno sticker i can show you guys let's see on this other side yeah here we go adreno marvelous bike man standard chain 
it has a 240 millimeter disc brake at the back. Huh? Standard. Look at how wide that tire is, man. That is a wide tire. Dual exhaust system into one. This bike is a beauty. It has a standard 15 liter tank that will give you, on a 400 cc, it will give you about 28 to 31 uh, kilometers on the liter, which is pretty good. It's not bad for 400 cc. They also improved on the, on the seat. Eh? Let's take a look at the seat. Look, look at the leather. Look at the finish. Leather. This was actually recommended by some clients in the UK who wanted the uh, Taro to upgrade their seats from the previous leather to this type of leather. This is the same type of leather that is used on the Kawasaki ZX636 and, ZS, and uh, ZX10R uh, 2020 editions. It's quite superb. It's quite superb. It already has an inbuilt tank grip, so there's no need of adding a tank grip. This is pretty good. This protects your brake, your your belt from scratching the tank eh, when you're riding. Guys usually have misconceptions that this usually protects your junk. This does not protect your junk. If you get into an accident, your junk is still is still uh, in trouble. But this protects your tank from scratches. Eh? protects your tank from scratches it's, it's actually pretty important this is your tank it has the standard keys they share the same keys as the 250R and the 200 yeah it's pretty nice I like the design of the cutoff switch it looks pretty sick yeah? all right let's look at the display this is a beautiful display you can actually change the settings if you want a different display you can change it when you're riding in the night eh, automatically the background the white background changes to 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 to, Nini, to black eh? and then uh, the white background over here changes to black it makes it look really sick in the night eh? it has auto brightness and uh, light sensitivity all right let's let's check out the diagnostic system real quick this is the ECU data as you know this bike is EFI and it's also equipped with an uh, electrical control unit eh? um, what this ECU uh, diagnostic system does is that it shows you after a service or even before a service if your bike has any problems with its electricals eh? if it has any problems if uh, even tire pressure even uh, if, the, if the battery voltage is low stuff like that eh? it has almost five pages of diagnostic system and it uses 18 languages eh? It uses 18 languages. This can be changed to 18 languages. Eh? You can set your timer there. It's, it's quite, it's quite nice. It's quite uh, decent. The, the TFT. That's what makes this TFT quite um, expensive. You'll find that the TFT version of the 250 is selling for like uh, almost uh, 15k more expensive than the standard version, eh? the one with the R6 uh, display. It's quite nice. Yeah. Let's check out the headlights real quick. That is lovely, that is lovely, that is lovely. We sold out these bikes in a span of a week, eh? the 400 cc's. Eh? There were three of them and they've already all been sold unfortunately. This bike is sold at 597k, that's inclusive of VAT. Um, right now they are all sold out, so guys are making uh, bookings for the match consignment. We have a, consignment coming in March April which will be coming with this 400 cc's so guys are booking so if you're interested in this color it comes in two variant colors there's the granite gray and then this virus uh, orange if you guys are interested please visit us at uh, Maruti Heights uh, along Carnival Road uh, and you can come check this one out before the owner picks it up and uh, yeah we will share all the details with you guys Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be doing a short video after this for to for you guys to hear the sound of the of the bike. I hope you love the video. If you guys if you guys think there's some more improvements I can do to my videos, please do let me know on the comment section. And the next 
review will be the Taro GP200. Thanks, guys. Imagine sleeping on a crap of a bike, eh? I'm a M4. Eh? What about a Samajirani? <laughs>